ESL. In the, in the bottom right, we have our Zerg player down one game. He is Samsung Galaxy Khan Solar, Kang Minsu. And his opponent here in the upper left in the lead. Supernova, Kim Youngjin. Supernova. He's chosen not to lift off to the gold base, which is one way that he won before, so you better go mech. <laughs> Those are the ways that he's been killing Zerg's tasteless. That's how he's surviving, man. Yeah. The this thing is, there's is no gold to lift. Like, he could have lift off and gone, gone like, to the natural, but... I, I feel like right now, Supernova is the Bear grills of the Drown of 32. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I'm going to survive by eating raw fish and drinking his urine to get through this. Like, he just bit a snake's head off in that last <laughs> game. Ugh. Everybody else here is basically in a log cabin. He's like wandering around in the woods, like trying to just purify his own water. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess that's what Terran is, right? Yeah. yeah. Whereas Maru drives around in his own uh, RV and stuff, like he's yeah. totally fine. I'm pretty sure Maru actually is a company that destroys the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Just chainsaws Mar it down. Maru's actually deforesting the He's jungle. Like, he keeps playing all these fern gully zergs, and he just like rolls them over. <laughs> they like make their little fairy banelings and mutalisks, yeah. and he's just like, whatever. He's like, oh, you're gonna stop, you're gonna stop me from bulldozing this part of the forest. He's like, watch this, and he sets that part of the forest on fire. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry, fern gully. You can't stop fire, can you? Sorry, Avatar. Maybe if we all fill up these leaves full of water and dump it on the fire, it'll stop it. No, this is a really big fire, okay? It's not going to happen. This is a big fire, and it's a drought, and the jungle is very dry right now. Mm. Um, <coughs> well, we have a scout here, and it looks like uh, Supernova. Can't really blame him this time around. Going for a pretty uh, all-around safe build. Yeah, command center uh, first. Again, he does get to pick the next map. Maybe he will pick uh, Habitation Station. Yeah, he's got to float to golds or go Mac. That's yeah. like what he does. For all we know, Supernova might just like you know make smiley faces with depots and then just leave the game and go into the next game. That's his prerogative. Look, I gotta I gotta point something out. Yeah, please. Uh, you know, I yeah. So Byung already played and he lost. Maru played and he won. Supernova might win here, and then we have Innovation still coming up, right? And that's the four Terrans. Now, if Supernova wins here, that points towards Terran being the most successful race with a two thirds advancement race rate. Yeah, and people How, are complaining. That, you can't have a two thirds advancement rate. Like, that's that's big. That's a lot. Like, 50-50, that would be even. Yeah. Okay, if we have only two Terrans go through, not three. I'm just saying. I'm you just throwing that point. out yeah, there, Terran yeah. players. Just, just throwing that take out that in consideration, right? Yeah. I know you guys like, you know, stats and numbers. Well, there mm -hmm. you go. All that's right. that's a stat for really you. Can't repeat with that. That's a statistic. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Looks like we're going to see him go into Reactor at Hellions. Going to be grabbing another command center very shortly here. Quick speed for Solar. Just make sure you can control the map. Mm -hmm. Cross spots, so this is a tough one for Terran to push on. Um, there's a third CC. Yeah, I mean, he's. it's, it's going to be a pretty long, drawn-out game, as far as I can tell here. This should probably be one of our longest, if not the longest game today. I think you're I think you're right on that. Like, it, it, if Supernova loses this, it's going to take a hell of a long time to kill him, I would say, because... He's not, like, messing anything up yet. I mean, yeah, obviously there's nothing to mess up, but he's doing a very strong macro build. It's a safe build as well. There's really nothing Solar can do to kill him off. Uh, should be feeling pretty good, I guess. Okay. This has been a really fun day of games, by the way, Taysis. It's been great. I've actually I've quite I've enjoyed laughed it. a lot. Yeah. And uh, the games themselves are actually just really entertaining. Yeah. Oh, really two more factories, you say? Mech, you say? He's channeling the powers well, of the Tosis. I guess we got two-thirds Terran Advancement Rage. <laughs> People are like, well, I mean, our Tosis is just, it just started, like, nothing's happened. Like, this, t it's a big map to go mech on. Well, <laughs> fellas, <laughs> guess what? I think he's going to make blue flame and make a quadrillion hellions and go kill this Zerg. Let's see if he does it, man. That would be awesome. I would like to see that. He is getting a couple tech labs. Mm-hmm. So, uh, see what he gets. He might he go, had, like, he had uh, no armory making, right? I know. No armory yet. It's a little bit early for mutas. Or mutt-mutts, as I like to call them. <laughs> Was that you or me that made up that joke called him mutt-mutts? <laughs> I don't know. 
Because <laughs> nobody calls them mutilisks, they call them mutas. Yeah. Mutt mutts. Yeah, mutt mutts is better. All right, for so. a mutt mutt rush. Yeah, mutt mutts are good. Yeah, man. That's uh, what my you younger you brother used to call the fire flower, like as a little kid, because it, when he shot a fireball right. and Mario's mutt. Oh wow! I called him. Oh, that's like, mutt, really cute. Mutt. Well, I mean, if if he's got uh, you know, mutt mutt micro like Jadong, I mean, no one can mutt mutt like Jadong. No, I, don't, I guess you're right. All right, so um, <laughs> we have the refineries making now. And we have uh, that armory on the way. He is making uh, four blue flame hellions, or soon to be blue flame hellions, at a time. So that's going to be a lot of hellions. Yeah, and he'll be able to transition, assuming he does enough damage here, into mm. a more normal mech play. Yeah, he's going to show a normal amount of hellions to start. Probably wants to back off before blue flame is done, rejoin everything, and uh, come down yeah, with like... Definitely don't fire the blue flame until you're ready to uh, initiate the attack of the base. Yeah, he's going to drop the hammer pretty soon here, Tasteless. It's going to be like 16 to 18 Hellions coming across the map. And uh, it's going to be like 20 Zerglings. Okay, this is a nice little harass. And this is actually going to let him know that there's Blue Flame Hellions a lot quicker. Well, he actually hit uh, the other ones in the back there pretty well. Yeah. And he had to be a citizen. a bit suspicious letting all those SCVs die. All right, now he knows. Yeah. Now, now he does know. Now, we do have six roaches on the way, so that definitely will help, but six roaches are going to have a hard time against this many Hellions. Is uh, Solar going to be ready? I mean, the damage output here is going to obliterate Lings. Uh, you had them an incredibly good surround. The ten roaches are coming, but the uh, Hellions are more uh, are quicker. See you later, Queens. So he wants to go up the ramp. Uh, this is where the Zerglings can try to come up here and do something, but wow. like that many Blue Flame Aliens, man. That is a lot. Straight to the drones. Yeah, the drones better, uh, well, I guess they better get fried. And he's actually not splitting them, realizing that if he tries to run, he just loses them yeah. all to a volley. But I don't know why he sent more drones yeah. up here. To this is actually, I think Solar is dealing with this unreasonably well. Yeah. Considering, like, how long this was hidden for, he's done a fantastic job. Yeah, he really, really uh, you know, oddly enough, a soul, uh, Supernova, excuse me, actually lost money in that rush. Yeah, he killed 17 workers total here. Uh, but I you know what? He's got, like, a pretty good standing army. <laughs> he has an okay drone count still. He can re reestablish his drones rather quickly. thing is, you know, even though he has, like, a pretty good standing army, can't. I don't think he can actually go and attack because there's so many Hellions that the counterattack will kill all his drones. Mm, yeah. Now, we do have uh, Mutas on the way. Or mutt mutts, as Tasteless likes to call them. <laughs> and uh, a couple of Thors being made. <laughs> you're so funny right now. <laughs> this is like the funniest cast of you in a while, man. It's, you're out of control. No siege tanks here, Tasteless. <laughs> yes, no siege tanks. And he's going to make a bunker for those two Marines, but it's not going to be done. And that's a lot of roaches. It is. And the roach power tech, I mean, it's got a lot of muscle to it. Mm. But actually, no, you know, with those two Thors out here, I think this might be a questionable move to actually yeah. engage that here. Even that angle with the bunker and the uh, the, ca the yeah the hole there, I guess, whatever you want to call it, it's hard for the roaches to get all get over there and do the damage they need to do mm. with their short range. Infestation pit uh, about halfway complete, and the Hellions are going to run around here and try to do some more damage of their own. But it looks like actually the roaches came up there, and also you seem to have noticed that there were in fact no Hellions over there to defend. Well, the Muta's trying to get something Whoa, done here. Whoa, that happened. Wow. Awkward. Well, uh, you know, the Muta's doing a little bit of damage, I guess. But overall, Supernova has sealed himself up pretty tightly. Nice economy for Solar getting that fourth base going. But it looks like the uh, Hellions are going to go down there. Uh, here come the Hellions now. And they'll take out these Queens. But small price to pay for the uh, Hellions to not get in here and do much more damage to drones. Well, that still may happen. We'll see. The Roach is coming down, though, trying to ensure that it won't. They do have speed, so they'll be able to chase him back. And Uh-oh, there's rocks there. They're stuck between Quick, a rock and a Roach place. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't just kill the rocks with those aliens. I mean, they were blue flame after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess those rocks weren't light units. <laughs> all right, so it's swarm host time. Big map to try to go Swarm Host on. It's going to yeah. be hard to really one, put pressure on. One problem with going for Swarm Host on big maps is you can go around the Swarm Host. In That's case true. You catch them when the uh, Locusts are going in the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah. You're just trying to fly and do something. Ooh, no, no turrets up here.
And they will be chased away. M Mutt's retreat! <laughs> uh, well, uh, some damage over here on these SCVs is a bit of a nuisance right now. Wow, or that's a Supernova, lot of but Supernova has decided to push. It's that 150 supply timing push we see a lot with Mackin uh, Terrence. And there are going to be um, locusts here, but you got to mm. keep in mind the SCVs can repair. Uh, these are all very meaty, yeah. bulky units. Usually they can tear <gasps> through the first two waves. Uh oh. Oh my god. Wow. Well, uh, not as bad as it could have been there. But you know what? He has Bailing Speed on the way. Almost done here now. So uh, he's going to try for that same type of strategy. Uh, you know, just killing off the the Blue Flame Hellbats as well as the yep. SCVs. But that's a lot of Thors this time. It's going to be hard to clean up. Oh, wow. Wow, they right were so scared they died. They actually died. They had a heart attack upon seeing that mech army. Rightfully so. They're like, oh my god, that's the most cost-efficient unit composition in the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Bailey's oh come in. Bailey's god. feet just not done yet. Still, actually, they clean up reasonably well. If he makes another little group of them, he might be able to get those SCVs. Oh, that's a good number of roaches up here. Yeah, and this is actually a very nice pickoff. Looks like he's going to get a couple Sea Chanks and a Thor, as well yeah. as two Hellbats. Yeah, and he gets them very nicely done right there. Slower doing a pretty good job of stopping this. I, yeah, I think he has to actually turn around. There's no way he's going to kill him with this. And Solar's on four bases. Solar's looking good this game. Look at this, 140 supply to 200. He's down by over 30 workers. You know, the problem is that a push like that, it's going to take a long time for him to be able to rebuild back to where he might have a really solid potential here. I think I mean, that, it, yeah. It, took him so, it was actually quite difficult for him to even get set up on the creep there. Now that he's pushed back, the Zerg is getting more and more Swarm House and more Lings, yeah. too. I mean, this is going to be a tough game. This might be a game that does go on to game number three. He's going to try yeah. to push again. Let's see if he can do it. it. It should be harder than the time before, especially with Zerg having money banked up. Yeah, I don't like this this second push. I, I don't, don't think like that it. this has like any it. chance at all. Like, I really, I think that the only way this can end is in defeat. I think he actually has to pull back and play, like, one of those long mech games like he's reality or something. Thing is, Solar is on reality's team, so he probably had to play him in that game type of game once. Yeah. Or, you know, obviously more than once. No, just once. Yeah, and then he's like, never again! <laughs> Well, the Roach counterattack's doing really well here. Uh, it's going to be hard for Terran to get enough mech units to actually pop out and take that out in time before the SCVs are killed. This push is coming, though. Let's see if he has enough uh, power to push through all this. Oh, boy. I don't know, man. Like, you know, he's, he's being slowed down quite a bit. He's already lost his Hellions. He's losing a lot of his production as well. On such a big map, this the, the push timing just is not working for him. Yeah. Look at this. He's backing up. He's waiting for these Locusts to come in. Ugh. Uh, oh boy. I think that may be uh, the beginning of the end here. It, it's, yeah. Once you go on top of Terran production facilities, everything pops out just dies. I, I gotta agree with you, except I think it's like the middle of the end. It's the middle of the end? Yeah, not the beginning. Well, we'll see about that. Unfortunately, the swarm house can just be uh, microed back here. Uh, yeah, this is... Ugh. 94 supply to 185. Well, Banelings rolling. That is it. And uh, it is one to one. Double fisted. Drinking that drink. Like Skull a bear honey. Jar of honey. All right, we're going to go to get, uh, the final game here between these two. I think Supernova goes with Habitation Station. I think so. Does he lift to the gold? You know his strat right now is that Solar's going to send all his drones again. I want to it's see like, this. Right, I'm going to win the drone versus SCV battle again. Six strat supernova. <laughs> Alright, we'll, well see. I hope it's. I hope we end on this. It's crazy now. Uh, what is it going to be? Habitation. Meet me at Habitation Station. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's time. Let's Cheese see. to the left. Cheese to the right. She's right here, I'm here, I'm not. Uh -uh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Wow. You're really good at All I do at is freestyle. cheese, 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 no matter what. What about Protoss Terran Protoss Zerg? Protoss Terran Zerg, I don't give an F word. That is cheese, all right. cheese. All right, let's do this. If this is not timed out so that you can send one drone to stop the uh, 
Command Center from landing, can you? I don't believe so, but even if you could, six SCVs will get rid of it in like two seconds, actually. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think if there's any weird thing you can yeah. do while still mining to like maybe slow this mm. down. All right, let's do this, guys. Yeah! yeah. Our final game here, Solar. Up against Supernova. I'm going to be a crazy game on Habitation Station. 